Hello YouTube. I'm pulling an Oz GUI here and doing like screen capture with a webcam on the side. It's insane. But it's a good format actually, so it's a good it's a good way for you to see me and see the desktop. Which is good. As you can see I've got the Ubuntu 10.04 release candidate installed. It's out in one day. Booyah! And uh I love the new backgrounds. Just look at this. That is sexy. I like the tree. As you can see, I'm just using cheese. My trash bin's disgusting. Alright. Um, the new theme of this is very nice. I've been using this for a couple days, and uh, so far, I love it. It's so much snappier than Ubuntu 9.10. And plus, Ubuntu 9.10 had a lot of weird issues because it didn't remove how completely, it only removed it partially. So parts of it were working and parts of it weren't. In this it's much more consistent. And that's something I really look for in Linux. It's much more of a consistent Ubuntu, which really you would expect from a long term service release. It's this and I consider the long term service releases like the official releases. I consider the the ones in between that uh beta because that's really what they are. I mean, look at 8.10. 8.10 sucked in the beginning. <laughs> As you can see, it still has all the same games. Mines still looks the same. And I still suck at it. Maybe not. Ah, fail! Um, Firefox, in this version, you can actually update it to, uh, 3.6 actually it comes with 3.6 I think but it's updatable to 3.6 rather than in 9.10 you can only get it up to um, 3.5.9 I think officially so if you look in this version I applied all the updates it's 3.6.3 so you do have the latest version of Firefox in here um, you also can get Thunderbird 3 which where the hell is it thought I installed it I don't have Thunderbird 3 installed, but you can get it, and uh, Thunderbird 3 act is so much better than Thunderbird 2. I couldn't stand having Thunderbird 2 in Ubuntu um, 9.10. It drove me up the wall. Now, what else is there? I had to install GIMP again, but watch how fast GIMP loads on, uh, on 10.04. It's pretty fast. Maybe I lied. <laughs> it's fairly fast, although this computer isn't the fastest computer. Tim, you're absolutely going to kill me, but this computer is a net top. It's, it has an Intel Atom 330. I know, Intel, sorry. But I haven't seen any low power processors from AMD, or really any net tops from AMD that you know are cheap. Uh, this computer is a cheap pile of shit, basically. That's why I bought it. <laughs> um, it's a dual-core, hyper-threading CPU. Uh, I got two gigs of RAM in here. It's running 32-bit operating system, so it, it it's pretty good. You know, I mean, I used I pretty much use this thing as a file storage, video. Uh, I do use it as an XChat computer, actually. I use it to uh, watch Chris Perillo's live chat sometimes. Uh, I got open office here. It's fairly good, I'd say. I mean, this is this is just trying out a screencast to see how, see how the format will work. So this is really just a test. Um, I installed Gparted, probably one of my favorite applications. They've changed uh, USB Startup Creator to Startup Disk Creator now, which is more accurate, I'd say. Um, it actually is more like Mobile Me now. Ubuntu One is very much resembles Apple's uh, Mobile Me in the fact that you can connect an account, you can uh, select the devices, limit the, you can limit the bandwidth, which I really like. In Mobile Me, you can't do that. Mobile Me just d uses whatever you can, it takes the resources and all that shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Apparently, it takes you to your account when you click on that. But as you can see, it does uh, pretty much the same things that Mobile Me does, only a lot less than Mobile Me does. It does bookmarks whatever broadcast messages are, contacts, and file synchronization. The file synchronization is what I use in MobileMe. 
because um, there are certain things I like to keep in the cloud. I use Mobile Me and Ubuntu One pr a, a lot of the time, actually. Uh, Mobile Me is uh, a lot easier to manage, I think, than Ubuntu One, at least on multiple computers, because there's only an Ubuntu One client right now, at least for Linux. Hopefully, they release ones for Windows and Unix. Hopefully, they release one for Windows and the Unix operating systems. Because both, because that would benefit Ubuntu One all around greatly. Because no matter what platform you're on, that can be an awesome service. You know, it could really get it could really get canonical up there. I'm just trying out this format just to see how it is. And this is the only way I can re really record a webcam in uh, Linux. Because when I try to do it with Cheese, it just freezes up and just bleh. So I just have to record the desktop. And I could always use GTK record my desktop to just size it to cheese and record it like that. It make things a lot e a lot more uh, fluid and simple, I guess. I might as well make myself. I might as well make a complete fool out of myself. Go 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 go. I'm gonna look shagadelic. As soon as it decides to do it. Whoa! This is awesome. <laughs> Cheese is still the same, pretty much. No effect. No effect. But as you can see, Cheese is still pretty... Not. It's a really slow program. I'm not sure if that's this computer, if that's the uh, thing. But I'm using an HD webcam on this, so it should, you know, be fairly good. Overall, uh... Ubuntu not Ubuntu 10.04, excellent, 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 excellent. Um, I would definitely recommend it over 9.10. 9.10 gave me a lot of problems. 9.04 was rock solid. 8. Point, basically, 8.04 was kind of meh in the beginning. 8.10 was, you know, it was kind of the vista of Ubuntu at the time. Uh, 9.04 was a little bit sketchy at the beginning, but in the end, it turned out to be rock solid, with just awesome driver support. It was it's the last version of Ubuntu that have like full HAL support. Uh, 9.10 has partial HAL support, and it gave me nothing but problems on certain machines, especially with uh, wireless performance when I had to use uh, restricted drivers. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, 10.04 is a much, it's kind, it's more of an incremental improvement, I think, over uh, other things, because they finally removed HAL completely and replaced it with something else. So there's not like two things floating in the same place, causing conflicts and problems and all that stuff. Um, it's much, it's a much snappier operating system too. It's a lot more stable than 9.10 was. 9.10 sort of thought about things a little bit before doing them, in my experience. Which was, you know, since it came out. Um, it's good. I would recommend it. And I've been using it since the release candidate came out. And the release candidate is rock solid as well. So if it's this rock solid in the beginning, it will be, it will re probably remain rock solid. Maybe with a few bu bumps or uh, divots here or there. But because it's Linux. But either way, it's it, it looks like a great operating system. I'm, I'm not, I've been thinking about just sticking with the LTS each time, unless the applications get so old that I just have to upgrade. But, uh, that would only be on machines that I would require Linux to be completely stable on. Um, things like my netbook, I might upgrade to 10.10 .10 whenever that comes out. Well, I know when it comes out. It comes out in October, but you know what I mean. Um, overall, I would say 10.04 is a worthwhile upgrade big time. Everything is more centralized and unified and consistent, which is exactly what I look for in Linux. Exactly. I mean, if you just look at this, you have chat accounts, broadcast accounts, Ubuntu One. You can change your status as long as it's integrated with uh, GNOME right here, just from your user account menu. I mean, that's 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 simplicity. That's a, that's a very... Um, I mean, that's what uh, Mac OS X has been... Um, Sort of parading for the since Mac OS has since you know since forever really 
that simplicity is the answer. And they're, they're right in some respects. This is very unified, the way Mac OS X does things, and I like that. I like Mac OS X myself, because it's very unified, it's a very good ecosystem. That's what Ubuntu is turning into, which is excellent. Very excellent. Um, also, I like the new network icon. That's nice. And as you can see, I have wireless here, out of the box. I didn't have to install any restricted drivers, although I'm using Ethernet on this one. Um, other than that... Um, yeah, I've been talking way too much, so I'm just going to end the video here. Um, I'd say Ubuntu 10. Point, again, I'll just reiterate, 10.04 is a worthwhile upgrade for sure. I'd recommend upgrading um, once the uh, final release is out, which will be tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.